Tonight, an I-Team investigation. It is the state's responsibility to do safety inspections on all passenger elevators. All. So why are thousands operating with expired inspection certificates? Our chief investigator, Cheryl Fiendaka, uncovered the backlog that a government watchdog group calls a disaster waiting to happen. The terrifying moments caught on surveillance video. A man frantically trying to stop an out-of-control elevator as it shoots up 31 stories. Elevators plummeting and crashing injure thousands of people a year in the U.S., according to the CDC. I'm stuck on the fourth floor. And injuries aren't the only concern. Faulty elevators have trapped people inside for hours. I've been stuck in an elevator, and it was kind of scary. It's quite terrifying, actually. We got stuck, my daughter and I, at the aquarium in one of the elevators there. Elevators are required to be inspected for safety, but the I-Team found the state has a backlog of more than 4,500 that are operating with expired certificates. This is just a disaster waiting to happen. In May of 2014, near disaster struck for Elizabeth Scotland. The 22-year-old suffered serious injuries when she fell more than 20 feet down an elevator shaft at Fenway Park. At the time, the elevator had a valid inspection certificate. Are the inspections that they're doing actually thorough inspections? Are they just blowing through those elevators? Are they really going in and looking at the safety elements? In 2014, a state audit found more than 30% of registered elevators had expired inspection certificates. They weren't doing the elevator inspections, huge backlogs, no hope of catching up. Now it's five years later, same problem. We found expired elevator inspection certificates at Boston City Hall, Logan Airport, and even in the state building where the Office of Public Safety and Elevator Inspections is located. There, the certificate expired more than a year ago. Somebody should be fired. The state, the city, whoever is responsible, why are we paying taxes? You're putting people's life in danger, and that's just not okay. The state says it's working on the backlog, and a spokesperson for the Office of Public Safety told the I-Team it takes safety seriously and works to ensure that business owners and members of the public, many of whom rely upon the use of an elevator, have access to safe and reliable elevators. The state says it has 40,568 registered elevators and 68 inspectors. Greg Sullivan with the Pioneer Institute says the state will never catch up because there are more elevators than inspectors can handle. This is a life and safety issue for the general public. The governor and the state legislature have to address this. It's not complicated. The state says it gives priority to the inspection of elevators in new construction projects. And the same elevator inspectors are responsible for inspecting all of the escalators in the state as well. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News.